Good morning, Teddy. Good morning, little buddy. He's so friendly. You want to say hi to everybody? What are you doing? Good morning, Teddy. Good morning, Teddy. You ready for breakfast? Are you ready for breakfast, little buddy? What are you doing? Hi, Teddy. You coming to say good morning? Are you coming to say good morning, little buddy? Say hi to all your friends. You gonna say hi to all your friends? Hmm? All right, let's go get your breakfast. Well, as Teddy finishes up his breakfast, I wanna welcome you to my channel. My name is Nancy, and this of course is our miniature horse, Teddy Bear. We call him Teddy now. He is a registered Appaloosa Mini, and he is a yearling about a year and three months old, and boy, has he had a color change. He was a nice, pretty, dark chocolatey, bay color when he was born and just in about the past four months or so he started to lighten up he's probably going to lighten up to be a few spot he will be pretty much white with a little bit of darker garnishing but you can really see how much his coat has changed yeah your coat has changed teddy and um i had a lot of response from my video last week with me driving salem and also showing how i harness him and i thought I would do one more little follow-up on that. I wanted to, I had forgotten my driving whip last week. I want to show you my driving whip this week and show you uh, just briefly how I use it. And maybe I'll even do a little bit of driving. I love to drive and ride to music. And uh, so I'm going to go and uh, get Salem tacked up and ready to go. Okay, I have Salem all, he is all harnessed up, ready to go. And I wanted to show you my driving whip. This is actually called an ultralight whip, and this is my driving cart, and my husband is standing with Salem, by the way. But this is my ultralight whip. I had this ordered special for me from a whip maker out in California, and uh, I have fibromyalgia, and I get very sore, and I wanted a driving whip that was really light. This is made from carbon. It is so light, it is like feather light. And of course, as I said in my video last week, if you didn't see that video, I encourage you to go back and watch it because I show you how I harness and I talk a little bit about driving. But this is my driving whip. And of course, this is not used to whip the horse. This is used for aids. So I'm gonna put this back in the whip holder. And I'm going to get into the cart. And I'm going to show you, I'll have my husband ride with me at first so I, he can film while I'm showing you how I use my whip. And then he's going to step out of the cart and I thought I would drive around a little bit. I love to drive to music and I thought I would show you um, what I enjoy doing. Okay, I have this view of my feet. This is how you want to have your feet when you drive a horse. You want to have your feet. I'm sitting on the right, my husband is on the left. I'm sitting up straight, but I don't have my back leaning against the backrest of the seat. And this is how I hold my reins, Tell them no. I've got the reins in my fingers like this, and I should have gloves on. Unfortunately, my gloves wore out and got a hole in them, and I'm in the process of getting some new gloves. My driving whip, can you see that in there, Keith? Yep. My driving whip, if he runs up the t to the top of the whip, is held at 10 o'clock. That is how I was taught to hold the driving whip. And if you're using the whip to get to move forward, Salem knows to move forward by voice commands, but you can touch them on the back and say, Salem, walk up. And then I keep the whip at 10 o'clock. And this is how um, I'm using the whip this way. And we're just going along walking. Now, when I get to a certain point, I'm going to turn him left. And what I'll do is I will lean this on his right side. And that guides him to go left. I also put a gentle pressure with my left rein on his bit. And I'll turn them again when I get to these flowers. Okay, I'm going to turn left. I'm going to just lay this on its side like if you were riding. I'm putting the whip where my leg would go if I was riding a horse. Now I'm going to turn right. I'm going to lay the whip on his left side. And I'm also putting gentle pressure on the bit on the side that I'm trying to turn. When I get up a little bit further, I'm going to turn to the right again, right about now. Again, I'm going to lay the whip on his side like as if I was riding and I'm gently pulling on the whip gently pulling on the rein excuse me that way now to ask him to trot I'll say Salem trot trot 
Cha-cha. And again, I'm going to move them to the left. I'm going to lay them up on this side. And then I'm going to go straight. And that's basically how you use the whip. And a lot of times I don't even need to do that. I can just gently put pressure on the bit. And, uh, but for now, I've got the bit in my, uh, the whip in my hand. This is the correct way, at least the way I was taught to carry a whip. Now, some people will hold the whip straight up. I was taught to carry it at 10 o'clock like this. Just a little note, the style that I drive in is Western Country Pleasure, and in Western Country Pleasure driving, the carriage of the horse's head should not be held high, but rather the horse should carry his head pretty much level. And that's why you see Salem's head pretty much level rather than being held high. Slow trot, sail on trot. Nice and easy, that's too fast. Easy. Now we're gonna extend. Extend. Good boy, sail on. And walk. And now we're gonna stop him and back him. Whoa. Sail it back. I'm going to show you how I get out of the cart the proper way. I'm going to take my whip and put it in the whip holder. I'm going to gather my reins. I'm going to take the excess, whip it up like this so I don't have it long where it can be tangled. And then I'm going to put my hand on the dash, step here and down. And always when you step on and off a cart, make sure you're clearing the wheel. But again, I have these lines in my hand. And now I'm going to put the tie down on it. And I'm back with Teddy. He's coming up to me again. Hi, little buddy. He says, why don't I go driving? You've got to grow up first. You're too little yet, buddy. I can't believe the spots on him. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed me finishing off that little segment I had with Salem and driving that I started last week. And it uh, won't be long, you know. Maybe by Christmas I might order 
a harness for Teddy and we'll start just putting the harness on him and ground driving him. He's not gonna pull any weight for a while. I want him to be maybe three, four years old before he pulls weight. But he is looking more and more like an Appaloosa. Look at all the freckles on your nose. Look at all the freckles on your mouth and your nose, buddy. What are you doing, Teddy? What are you doing? Are you following me? You're gonna follow me all over the pasture. What are you doing, sweet boy? Teddy! Oh, you're gonna follow me some more? You're gonna follow me? What if I turn this way and start running? You still gonna follow? Oh, you're such a cute boy. What a good boy. Good boy, Teddy.